Hello everyone, this is Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about one of our qu customer's questions. He encountered a problem when he connected an IP device to his PoE switch. Uh, regularly, we should imagine them to connect successfully and the IP device will receive the power and data and work properly. Well, in his case, the IP device did not work. It, when it's connected, it did not have any reactions, the indicators won't lit on, so he was very confused. He tested it with his uh, original power source for the IP device, and the IP device lit on and he connected to the PoE switch. It received data from the PoE switch, so he was really confused why it cannot receive power from our PoE switch through the Ethernet cable. Well, in order to talk about this, we're going to have to know that there are basically two kinds of devi IP devices. One is PoE devices and ones are non-PoE devices. PoE devices are the p devices that have PoE enabled. This means that they have this ability, this feature to receive power from the Ethernet cable. And non-PoE devices are like our really commonly seen laptops or computers, which they can receive data from the Ethernet cable, but the power, they usually don't take it from there. So a non-PoE device, usually we would just have to power it up with our power source itself, connecting to the alternating currents. And uh, basically, if we want to connect it to a PoE switch, it's okay, but it only receives the data for it. So what is it like? So this is one of our passive PoE devices. This is a one piece of the wireless network bridge. The wireless network bridge usually comes in two pieces, but to demonstrate, we're gonna only need one. And you can see that with our PoE switch, there will be no indicators lit on. So I connect it with our PoE switch. And as you can see, the indicators all are not lit on. It means this has not received the power. And once we use our 12 volts DC adapter, the indicators lit on and we can see perfectly that it has received power and the ethernet is providing data. So this might be the problem our customer has encountered and to know that if our IP device is PoE enabled or not, they are usually mentioned in the specs or in the instruction books. You can always check it and ask maybe the customer service where we got the product and ask them if it is PoE enabled. It is usually a very easy question to answer. And to let you guys see how a PoE enabled IP device works, for example, our PoE PTZ IP camera right here, it's PoE enabled, so when it connects to our PoE switch, it will receive the power and turn on. As you can see that it's doing the self-diagnosis right now and shortly it will be online connected to our network and we can view the camera through an MVR. So you can see now it's perfectly ready to be recording our live time video feeds. So that is basically what a PoE enabled device is. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.